What's up, guys? It's your boy Pete, and welcome back to I Am With Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything houseplant related that tickles your fancy. Why don't you hit that subscribe button, sit back, and enjoy the video. Guys, on today's video, we are doing the houseplant of the month. Sorry, we see the, that's cash. Of September. Of September. He is all over the place, y'all. Um, houseplant. Other month of September, I can't believe y'all. This year is like just going by like that, you know. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I've been cutting and chopping and chopping and cutting up my collection. So, finding a plant that fits or support my needs, fit meet meet my needs. Hmm. However, you go um, finding a plant that uh, reaches the criteria for the house plant of the month was kind of sort of hard. Um, again, I've been cutting things up so things are not up to par. And then the ones that are, are up to par, I mean, they've already been the house plant of the month. Nothing much has changed. They're still growing perfectly fine. But we found one today or yesterday or maybe the day before. Or it could have been two days ago, three days ago. Three days max, y'all. This here plant has been stagnant, has been idle, has not grown one leaf, has not Okay, it dropped a few. And I can understand that. Transitions and acclimations. Slight underwater. I can understand that. But y'all, I'm telling you, this plant literally took a year. Um, if you remember, uh, one of the videos, like the next video or the video after that, you're gonna get update on this here wall. If you're wondering, uh, my house plant of the month videos typically be the day before. So today is August the 31st or August the 30th. I mean, every day is in August. It's the day before the first, right? Um, so, if you see anything new, you probably won't be able to see it until four weeks later when we actually catch back up. But, this here plant has not grown. Um, this is September, well, August, this here August, this here August. August makes a year since we had our grow wall. Um, <clears throat> and then also it makes a year that one of these here plants been in here since the beginning you can't see her i could have went ahead and turned the camera there she is excuse the the bed whatever um what is that oh um yeah this is she this, this is she this is her and her new leaf baby i can't play with you right now you're so cute i can't right now let's see and he's still forcing it he is forcing it you can't jump up here <laughs> i'm up too high is this right here my philodendron mayo aka philodendron mayonnaise if you can jump up here i'll let you get up here come on this dog got up come on baby there you go you want to be up here you want to be up here you want to be up here. hold on you got hat all in your eyes and stuff sheesh come on now, you, I, now if you want to be on camera we would have got your camera ready oh did y'all see that light flash we would have got your camera ready he got eye boogers this is so Embarrassing, bro. You can't get on TV screen looking how you looking. There you go. Is that better? Is that your eyeball? But guys, it is the Philodendron Mayo. I call it the Philodendron Mayonnaise. Mayo, whatever. Mayonnaise work good to me. Now, this plant, we're going to get it, y'all. This plant has been stagnant, like I said, for a very, 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 very long time. And she has, come on. And she has finally this look, look, y'all, look. Look, look, look. That's what I gotta deal with. You wipe all your funk stink and your face boogers all on my look like I got to wash those sheets. Not worried about it. This here plant, y'all, has been sitting in this corner for a year. Has not put out a leaf. 
it like I said it dropped a few leaves um let me know down in the comment section if you have been around when I got this here plant if you don't know long story short I typically grow every single philodendron from a node cut it or ah, got it y'all it was a gnat um this plant has not been moved y'all I'm so excited and I just can't hide look at her y'all you cannot tell me this is not one pretty love but baby look I'm trying you want me to rub we your talk to her we can talk to her we can play out the pop up finish recorder but y'all this is the philodendron mail eye we lost one two three four ish to five ish <laughs> um leaves i'm trying not to oh there we go wait is it this one yeah there we go we lost a few leaves down here which was you know i knew it was gonna happen but since y'all as you can see she stopped here she gave me, no 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 when when i first put her in here let's do her left side when i first put her in here she was pushing out this leaf here and then it went stagnant for a year y'all a year i'm telling you <laughs> and then just so happened i don't know maybe it's the growing season we got this now i had already figured oh this would be a nice would that fit in the box yeah this would be a nice cutting for the shop hmm i didn't think about that so you can rock the paint and she's like freaking gorgeous and what i do love about philodendrons when you get them like from the store or whatever the case may be you know they just they this is what you call a good behind plant y'all haven't had any issues out of her we may have had a um a spat of spider mites once upon a time oh it's full of dust now once upon a time out in my man cave if you don't know you guys i have three growing locations my out well three and a half i have my outside tropicals which grow in the ground i have some of my other tropicals um like my hoyas and I, them are some arrows. They're on the front porch. Those will come in. I have my man cave, which is where George and my plants are. And then I have the cavern, which is in here, which houses my grow wall props. Um, there's that painted lady you guys will be on the shop soon eventually. Shop updates is like a mess. I've been working nonstop seven, six days, y'all. Six days a week. I'm not complaining. I'm complaining, but I'm not complaining because when I see that paycheck, I'm not going to complain, but I'm complaining right now. But. Get you a philodendron may why i know you can find these in like lowe's home depot i'm just gonna say lowe's because i'm not sure about home depot um fairly cheap when i got these these were one of the it plants they were way more than 20 way more than 20 dollars when i got it um i got this from one of my lucky um wheat straws is one of you guys um i don't know if i don't know i don't it's, it's kind of hard to say um, but the person who gave me this here, y'all, they stay up in New York area. Um, she got shipped years back and she's just been semi enjoying life. Now she definitely could use a up pot if I wanted to. These roots are just wrapped, wrapped, wrapped. There's no way that I would be able to get in here and separate any of the roots if I wanted to. Now I could possibly add some more um, dirty sphagnum, my mixture into here. Um, it wouldn't hurt anything, but. I mean, it probably wouldn't help anything either. But anyway, if you don't have one of these, y'all, get you one. Um, get you one of the leaves. They come in kind of web, if I would say. Um, this is like the, one of the oldest leaves. Yeah. Because the other ones were a little bit more thicker. The veins were a lot thicker, like from this one compared to 20% battery. Thank you, sir. Um, compared to like one of these very different um i wanted one of these because they remind me of my split finger the matter file them. i don't know if they reclassified it back to a philodendron or not but a lot smaller more compact and just grows spectacular now even though my split fingers um is a showstopper as well which could have made the house plant of the month um because she's definitely has grown back from being in the inside you know when i bring her in inside she typically gets not neglected but she don't have the proper lighting just because of how big she is she dies back and then next year take her outside it goes for what you know but philodendron maywa we finally have a new leaf which is coming in i'm so freaking proud of her i might need to i'm checking 
Yeah, I might need to spray her down. I was thinking about turning, um, refilling up my, um, what's that thing called y'all over there? Um, humidifier. Um, because we're in the season where the humidity likes to change and get higher. As you can see, like from like leaves like that, overwatering. Don't see how. I really do not see how. But, you know, especially with the unit running, it's pulling the moisture out of the air. So why in the world are you turning the way you're turning? It's okay. This is what this is the video is about. This video is about my build engine, Maywa. And I love her. Again, get you one, you guys. She made the list. I can't not still believe we got a new leaf. I just did not know that. No, I knew eventually. But however, it took a literal year. And I wish I would have recorded it. Look at him. I wish I would have recorded it. But it's fine, you know. Um, I may chop this and put it in the shop, the top part. I mean, it's not that serious. I know you guys again can find one of these here at your local um, Lowe's. And yeah, just like you know, the field injury, you guys, you give them something to climb on, your stem and things, your leaves, it's, it's your leaves and things. Like this is one big, thick behind stem, maybe about an inch, inch and a half thick. If I decide to cut it, the new growth would be a lot bigger. There we go, it just started over. Compared to like one of the smaller. That's crazy how it upsizes that be from something like that to that. But guys, Philodendron Maywa Houseplant of the month of September. I'm freakishly shocked. Whoa, I'm trying to get my stool. I'm freakishly shocked and proud of her to be honest with you. Um, and again, as I did state, like I cut a lot. Yeah, but I cut a lot of my babies up, so not technically sure. Um, at that time, I wasn't technically sure what I could give it to, but again, I seen her and yeah, she sits over in the corner. Y'all yeah, get you one of these, all right? Low maintenance. I don't know what else to say, you know? No, no nothing. She, I don't want to mention too much about bugs because my luck tomorrow should be infested at everything, but good luck, you know? But full of injury, may lie, house in a month. Let me get mama back. Whoa, please don't knock over Barina. The Barina is Barina. Um, let's get her back. Oh, and then hopefully this is the, well. Oh, sorry about that guys. Battery went dead. But um, yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe. The shop will be, give me, give me, if you're in a rush, just send me um, a message over on Etsy or, well, yeah, over on Etsy. We can go ahead and um, move some things around. Uh, that's if you're in a hurry. And again, a lot of these 90, let's say, with, let's go with 96.3% of the plants already. There are some few slaggers, my fault, um, on that end. Um, I had to switch some things around, I'm combining some things, bigger plants, um, so we can push, push this stuff out the door, you guys. I want shop to be clean by at least let me see September October at least November um, I say that because I can ship all the way up until December um, it just depending on where you're going it's usually always warmer here than anywhere else on the map um, aside from Florida of course but um, yeah um, usually it takes depending on where you're going it takes a day to get up to Atlanta and then if the post is working right it takes three days to get to you so once it leaves here, then it definitely will start to cool down and I will be iffy myself to ship it. But however, um, if you're willing to give it a try, you definitely can do that. Again, it's not my first rodeo shipping during any type of cold weather. I just pay attention to where it's going and I pay attention to the temperature and things here. You know, there's this kind of, yeah, I don't even order when it's cold or I get very sketchy. Is it sketchy? Hectic. Is it hectic? nervous whatever the word i'm looking for nervous will do it um ordering during the winter time especially if i'm doing like a tropicals order or something and such but y'all i'm gonna stop running my mouth i'm gonna let you guys go um again house print on the month of september is the philo mayonnaise um known as the philodendron mayo but that is it guys like comment share and subscribe 
I will see you guys on the next one.